flaw that we have when we approach things is we look at everything as if it's an engineering project. And I've had a number of titles in my career that had engineer in it, even though I'm not a trained engineer. Very common in the high tech industry. When you're doing an engineering project, one of the things you want to do is you want to absolutely know everything up front. Let's take all the certainty, all the change out of it. We're going to get all the answers. And whenever you do a project, that's the way a good project manager approaches it. We don't want any change to come later. Change is the enemy. Well, that's a really good model when you're building a building. When they came to build this, this meeting hall, I think they probably were able to answer all those questions up front. What do we want? We want a meeting hall, this size, hold this many people, have a kitchen in, have a dining room. We know what the, the soil is like here. We know what the weather is like here. It's pretty straightforward to go build a building. And when they built the building, they ended up with a building. They didn't end up with a swimming pool by mistake. IT projects don't work that way. Why don't they work that way? It's because we, when we tackle a major investment in information technology, we're not trying to do more of same. We're trying to bring about fundamental change. The, the buzzwords these days, digital transformation. We want things to be greatly different after we're done. So if our goal is to create change, how can change be the enemy? That doesn't make any sense. This engineering model is leading us astray. It's, it's a false model. It looks good, and this is a wonderful analogy that Jerry gave me. It's a mirage. As we start out at the beginning, oh yes, we'll be this, much, this many people, this much money, this much time, we'll be all done. And the closer you get, the further it seems to move away until you realize it's not really there. This engineering model has really let us down, and it's led us astray a lot. And so we needed something to replace that model. 